I thank uh, my friend, Mr. Engel, and uh, I want to thank uh, the chairman, Mr. Roy, for bringing this bipartisan bill to the floor. Uh, I want to thank uh, them for their efforts uh, on behalf of our country, on behalf of the security of our country, and on behalf of uh, ensuring that tough sanctions stay in place. Tough sanctions are what brought Iran to the negotiating table, Mr. Speaker, in the first place. And the prospect of a snapback of sanctions is what I hope will keep Iran compliant. Make no mistake, Iran continues to be a bad actor, sponsoring terrorism, contributing to instability in Syria and Iraq, threatening Israel, and suppressing democracy within its own borders. We must continue to ensure that Iran abides by the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. We had differences on its uh, merits, but we had no differences that Iran must comply. No malfeasance ought to be tolerated. Iran's theocratic leaders continue to threaten Israel and Americans in the region. They continue as well to pursue ballistic missile technology that destabilizes the region. And its regime has held Americans captive for years as bargaining chips in negotiations over its compliance with basic international law and norms. This legislation will ensure that President Obama and his successor will have the full force of sanctions available should Iran violate the nuclear agreement in any way. It's critical that our approach to Iran remain bipartisan. Mr. Royce and I have had that discussion. Mr. Engel and I have had that discussion. And I say again, it is critical that our policy remain bipartisan. So doing so sends a strong signal to our allies and even more importantly to our adversaries. We are united in our efforts to stop Iran from ever obtaining a nuclear weapon. Now that this legislation is completed, we need to turn to the critical task of ballistic missile sanctions. And I look forward to working with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to respond appropriately to Iran pursuing ballistic missile capabilities in violation of UN security resolutions. Again, I thank uh, Mr. Royce. I thank Mr. Engel. Uh, I reiterate the fact that we work together, Republicans and Democrats, where we have many differences. But on this, we should not have differences because the security of our nation, the security of the nations of the Middle East, and indeed the global security depends upon it. And I thank both of them, and I thank my colleagues for working so hard towards this legislation, and I yield back the balance of my